erudite, inspiring, and the man of sound leadership ideals. The Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology, Mina, Professor Abdullahi Bala, fellow Soul Science Society of Nigeria, Walin Zazo Suleja, is positively rewriting the narrative of this revered institution. A first class graduate of the Amadibello University Zaria, Professor Bala holds a master's degree and a PhD with distinctions from the University of Reading and the University of London, UK, respectively. He is also the chairman of the Association of West Africa Universities. On December 3, 2017, Professor Abdullahi Bala was appointed the seventh substantive vice chancellor of Efitamina by the Governing Council of the institution under the leadership of Professor Femi Odekunle, now deceased, in a seamless and transparent exercise adjudged by many and other contenders as the best ever in the annals of the university. Within the past three years of his stewardship, Professor Bala has transformed the fortunes of the institution for good in virtually all facets. Little wonder Efutimina has become a byword for academic excellence and administrative distinction among the committee of universities in Nigeria. I am very grateful to God for the opportunity given to me to serve um, in this position and to have spent three years already. And to say that um, the journey has been interesting, challenging, but also very fulfilling, uh, given what we've been able to achieve in the last three years. Professor Bala came in with a vision. You know, before he became the Vice Chancellor, he was DVC administration, DVC ACAD, and so he, he has a good understanding of the university. And so when he became VC, he knew the direction that he was going to. And uh, I want to say that he is achieving that um, because of uh, some of the milestones that he has been able to put in place. I have been very, very grateful to God that I was part and parcel of the decision that led to his emergence as Vice Chancellor. If I look back, and any time I look back, I feel um, satisfied and pleased, uh, especially going by, you know, the many things. I don't want to call it milestone, I don't want to call it achievement, because to me they are more than that. Ablai Bala um, is um, one vice chancellor, I will say, I am very proud to be associated with. Hardworking, very intelligent, focused, Project-driven. I would describe him as an energetic young man that assumed leadership of this university at a very young age. And he has proved his worth over this period. By my assessment, as the vice chancellor of this university, he has not betrayed the confidence reposed in him by the council of the university. He has lived up to expectation and even surpassed expectations within this relatively short period. Uh, I think the university has witnessed a lot of progress under his leadership. Based on verifiable evidence of his impressive achievements, it will not be an overstatement to say that he has taken Efutimina to the next level. For more than three years, the university has maintained a single-digit position in webometric and four ICU rankings of university in Nigeria and Africa at large. Also, the past three years of his administration has seen the university hold its Founders Day and Convocation Ceremony on February 1st, with certificates issued to graduating students on the spot in keeping with global best practices. We always get the subscripts ready even before the day of convocation. So at once after convocation, the graduates are issued with their certificates. The issue of uh, transcripts also has uh, also improved because at least almost every day 
I must sign a request for transcripts. So it has even improved from what we have on ground before. Also, staff of the university are promoted as and when due in line with the university's extant laws. In the same vein, the university's pre-degree and interim joint matriculation board, IJMB, has been adjudged as one of the best in Nigeria. The Suleja Study Center, donated by the Suleja Emirate Council, is now operational, with some pre-degree students posted to the center. The center has also concluded plans to commend some certificate and diploma programs. The center or the university generally have seen a tremendous achievement and innovations has come into the system. Particularly Center for Preliminary and Extramural Studies have keyed into the vision and mission of the Vice Chancellor in such a way that the university, being a leading university in the country, the center too is also a leading center of sub-degree in the, in the country. Furthermore, access to quality university education was also broadened through affiliate programs with polytechnics and colleges of education in the country. It is worth stating that the university's programs are fully accredited by the National Universities Commission, NUC. Today as we speak, we have about 95% of our programs being fully accredited by NUC. We have 40 of them and 38 have full accreditation, two have interim. And by the time you work out the arithmetic, you discover that 95% have full accreditation as we speak. A consummate researcher and administrator par excellence, Professor Bala has supported research activities in the university, many of which have received research grants or resulted in notable discoveries by the university's researchers. Okay, Professor, Professor Abdullah Bala, the Vice Chancellor of the University, has been doing very well in terms of uh, supporting this office for research activities. Since he came on board, uh, we have enjoyed that support from him to go further to pursue research from both national and international. Although research consciousness has started growing, but in the last three years I could say that it has grown, you know, much better than before. A lot of people, you know, a lot of uh, information in the university about people getting research grants, about people doing some wonderful things in research. So that consciousness, you know, and that is growing and management is supporting it. For instance, once it comes to research, the VC doesn't, uh, you know, joke with it. Notable research grants attracted from local and global sources include the World Bank grant of $6 million for the establishment of an Africa Center of Excellence for Mycotoxin and Food Safety. These grants during the tenure of Professor Bala represent the highest ever witnessed in the institution since its inception in 1983. Um, I think the flagship grant that I can point to is that of the African Center of Excellence where we were able to attract six million US dollars to set up the center, uh, African Center of Excellence for Mycotoxin and Food Safety. Yes, this center is bringing on board, first, we have Masters and PhD in Food Safety, Masters and PhD in Toxicology, and then Masters and PhD in Molecular Biology and Bioinformatics. Now, the last two, toxicology and molecular biology and informatics, are common. But the food safety is novel. It's a cause that is looking at the harmful effect of food poisons. F poisons that are found in food. And it is so new that we got more than 100 applications for it. In fact, we were dropping even foreign students from applying. So that was one of the strategy. But under Professor Abdullah Bala's leadership, we'll be able to bring in on board 46 international partners that are standing as lecturers, as members of our International Scientific Advisory Board, as Sectorial Advisory Board, 
46 highly rated scientists and industrialists are on our board here serving as lecturers and intern supervisors this is a big feat so much so that we have african center of excellence for microtoxin and now fut therefore has partners in all the continents of this world the total sum of 23 million 280,232 Naira under the TET Fund Institutional Based Research Intervention IBRI, while five other groups also won the TET Fund National Research Fund NRF, which attracted the total sum of 175,943,726 Naira. This represents a success rate of 56% which was one of the highest in the country in 2019. In addition to TET Fund grants, some FUTMINA faculty members also attracted research grants from the Raw Materials Research and Development Council, 20 million naira. Raw Materials Research, they contacted us, I think sometimes in 2018. They needed, you know, they want to specific uh, areas they want to improve you know uh, local products like kuli kuli donkwa pottery local pots and uh, sugar cane or local sugar production so two of the research was approved that is kuli kuli and donkwa for funding and the ministry of mines and steel development 15 million 275,000 naira the university also secured two international grants, first being the sum of 1.4 million euros under the African Intramobility Program. The second is a grant of 155,465 pounds sterling from the Royal Academy of Engineering, United Kingdom for Artificial Intelligence for Clean Energy. FUTMINA has also consistently recorded commendable research breakthroughs under the leadership of Professor Bala. The university, in collaboration with the Nigeria Air Force, developed a locally made ventilator to curtail the deadly coronavirus disease and support patients with respiratory challenges. The ventilators have been unveiled and presently subjected to further scrutiny by relevant government agencies before mass production. In collaboration between FET MENA and uh, AFIT, uh, Air Force Institute of Technology, led to the development of uh, a locally uh, developed ventilator. Uh, but beyond that, uh, scientists were also able to have collaboration both within the university and outside the university in developing many other uh, products that result you know, in response to the uh, COVID-19. We have a team that has developed a modeling software that, is, um, uh, that can be used for forecasting and managing um, the spread of um, COVID-19. We've had engineering breakthroughs in terms of um, production of uh, hand washing uh, products in terms of production of uh, sanitizers, production of uh, hand wash, um, the decontamination chamber, um, infrared thermometers. So our staff have been up and doing in terms of uh, their response to COVID-19, in terms of um, uh, development of products uh, to address the challenges of COVID-19. Under the administration of Professor Bala, the drive to boost internally generated revenue, IGR, has equally received added impetus. With Professor Bala coming on board, he has um, tried that we should look out of the box by attracting investors to the university. Like we have the issue of making our food meal venture accessible to others, providing consultancy services. We have an, an instance that our lecturer had a uh, 
consulted says with the Kaduna State Government, he he won a, a contract of about 74 million naira, which is a plus to us, which has also is a boost to Efitimina. And we're still making more. There are more other projects that are coming on board. We have uh, some of our lecturers that have gotten grants for the un for for the university for research purpose. And then, like I said earlier, the third fund money has been coming steadily with, with Professor Bala on board. The all, most, most of the money from third fund has been coming steadily. He has also initiated uh, a committee for the university farm. And then he has um, ensured that uh, the, food, the farm, he has deployed other mechanisms in our farm so that we can attract uh, revenue. I think we're making progress with all this on board if all these things are channeled i know that we will, we're going to increase our revenue base which we have started at least we're better than where we're coming from it's a work in progress and i know that we're going to get there in addition the university has never had it so rosy in its history in terms of massive infrastructural upgrade remarkably Efutimina has become a beehive of construction activities. Notable among these projects are the second phase of the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology Complex, completed. Construction of Cybersecurity Department Building, second phase, almost completed. Construction of 40 units of male and female lavatories, completed. And Construction of Twin Lecture Theatre for the School of Information and Communication Technology completed. Also worth mentioning are the Twin Gigantic School of Life Sciences completed and equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and School of Physical Sciences at the main campus almost completed. Under the administration of Professor Bala, the contractor handling the construction of the university's earth dam has also returned back to site. It is germane to note that all these projects are of high quality and in tandem with agreed specifications. The TET Fund supported streetlight project attracted by the vice chancellor to the tune of 200 million naira has been completed with the installation of 500 units of solar panel enabled street lights. The university has also completed the installation of CCTV cameras to enhance the protection of lives and property on campus. The university campus radio station Search FM 92.3 also received a facelift recently courtesy of the vice chancellor's magnanimity which necessitated the procurement of digital broadcast equipment and the flag off of the station's live studio. Equally important, Professor Bala has attracted notable projects to the institution to complement federal government efforts in the provision of world-class infrastructure on campus. To this effect, the university secured the donation of two IT hubs from the Nigerian Communication Commission NCC and the National Information Technology Development Agency NITDA. The IT hub donated by NITDA has been completed and equipped with modern IT equipment to aid learning, research and teaching while the other by the NCC is at an appreciable stage of completion. The combination of these two will add value to the university's mission in uh, providing technological services uh, directly to the university community but also the host community. So we hold it, it's, it's very uh, dear to us and um, it will actually add value to what we're doing. In the last quarter of 2020, the Vice Chancellor secured the donation of high-tech IT equipment worth over $26,000 from Huawei Technologies Limited under the university's Huawei Academy program. Still on IT-related matters, the university now has a certified international test center. The international test center is the second of such facility in the entire North Central Zone and will provide IT certification opportunities for students 
from the likes of Cisco, CertiTrack, Adobe Certified Associates, and International Computer Drivers Licenses ICDL, among others. We also set up International Test Center. The idea is, as much as possible, our students should get one certification or the other before graduating from the university. So with that um, International Test Center and the number of programs that we have there, it allows um, most of the students to be able to get one certification or uh, another before graduating from the university. The university within the last three years also signed a number of MOUs with some notable organizations both locally and globally. We have signed uh, two international MOUs uh, which is uh, Anand University in India, uh, Gent University in uh, Belgium and a series even nationally, Naseni, uh, Navdak within West African. Topmost among these, the Vice-Chancellor attracted a multi-billion Naira 40-room hotel facility from shelter suites and hotels. This is the first major investment from a private firm since the inception of the university in 1983. Professor Bala has also attracted the construction of a 5,000-bed space hostel accommodation on campus from Urban Shelter Nigeria Limited under the Build, Operate and Transfer BOT Agreement. The project is ongoing. To his credit, Professor Bala further secured the multi-million Naira Center of Excellence for Technology Development Studies with funding from the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board NCDMB for the training of much-needed manpower in research and development in the oil and gas industry. Professor Bala is also keen on ensuring uninterrupted power supply on campus. Specifically, he has underlined his determination to boost the capacity of the university's substation to achieve independent power supply. A move that will ensure that the days of dependence on the erratic general power supply are over. For electricity, we have applied to TEDFON now for approval in principle to use some of our 2020 um, uh, normal intervention to upgrade the substation in the university from 2.5 kVA to 7.5 kVA so as to provide for greater capacity uh, that will um, in due time accommodate um, the demand that is likely to come with the relocation of uh, the two schools. Um, so for the purpose of municipal supplies, we are doing that. And the African Center of Excellence also has made provision for institutional impact. So we are thinking of using some funds from the, uh, from the grants from the, for the African Center of Excellence to um, see how, how we can uh, establish an off-grid uh, uh, energy solution, either solar, true solar energy or biomass energy. Uh, if we're able to do that, that will guarantee 24-hour electricity at least uh, at the Gironquano uh, campus. The Vice-Chancellor is also reaching out to other prominent personalities in the state and beyond to attract funds and to execute more projects on campus. To aid the movement of students from the Boso campus to the main campus, some new buses have also been purchased by the Professor Bala administration, while faulty ones are also being repaired. Professor Bala also initiated the Vice Chancellor Students Award with monetary reward, as well as free hostel accommodation on campus for students with 4.5 CGPA and above. It is pertinent to note that the Vice Chancellor has also maintained a cordial working relationship with all the unions and campus to achieve industrial harmony. Same can also be said for University Council relationship, which has been smooth. FUT Mina is lucky in many respects. Lucky in the sense that it is having Professor Abdullah Bala as his Vice Chancellor, which is able to. Honestly, I look back sometimes, I envy them positively. I think there is 
what I would call shared vision between the council and the management. It's like board members of council are focused on how to move the university forward, how to leave it at the end of its tenure better than it met it. And I could see the same spirit on the side of management. I cannot recall in the last three and a half years that I've been council member, anything that sort of, you know, drew a line between management and council. If other university administrators would emulate Professor Abdullahi Bala, I tell you, the system will be better for it. With this administration and even subsequent administration, we have had some good working relationship because not very many problems or challenges can you see are posed. Yes, there are one or two which we are still working on. Uh, in a bid to support the student union movement and uh, to make our activities and our assignments to be much more easier. During the tenure of a professor Abdullah Balai alone, he has done two different bosses for the student union. In addition, relations with the University Alumni Association under the leadership of Malam Ahmed Y. Al Hassan is equally thriving, as seen in commitment to build a 5,000 bed space hostel for students. The soil turning ceremony for the facility has been done. We spoke to ourselves and we all decided that we will build a 5,000 bed hostel for the university on the university campus so that the students will be brought back to the university, let them stay on campus and develop that beautiful culture that we all had as individuals before we graduated. We are in the process discussing with individuals that are, are well to do and also the opportunity for every individual alumni to contribute to this great initiative. The, the soil has been turned and I, I assure you that um, in 2021 we'll start the foundation proper to hand over to at least build and hand over a couple of blocks to the university as promised. Also worth stating is the fact that the administration of Professor Bala has done a lot for the host communities in the area of corporate social responsibility and community engagement. We at Boso Community are very happy and pleased to have him as a VC of the Federal University of Technology because he is always there for us. Because I have our children that now lecture us at FUT. If you can look at this palace, it wasn't like this before. Professor Bala contributed a lot in making this palace a very big one today. Sports development has equally received utmost attention under the administration of Professor Bala. Indeed, the Vice Chancellor has changed the face of sports in the university as seen in the example of the previously moribund university's golf course, which now wears a new look. To say that Professor Bala has more than justified his appointment as helmsman of this great citadel of learning is no idle talk. Under his astute leadership, FUT Mina is being further repositioned as a first-class institution of higher learning worth its weight in gold. <laughs>